the view of yes. her down, yes. her up yes. from the backside and him right there. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, that you up. wanted to see some shit get real, yeah. that I was the that pose. You. you know, <laughs> I love this frame. I love this shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right there. I'm just right laying there. here. Right there. <laughs> Legs beautiful right guys. There. Beautiful. beautiful guys, dynamite. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Bumble Presents Love to See It, hosted by yours truly, Tiana Taylor. Come along for the ride and celebrate black love with us because Bumble loves to see that, and so do I. So today's topic is what? Polyamory and Yeah, so we need to pick up a few fellas that fool that live in into that those kind of things. I really commend people who could do that because I could never just willingly give I mean, my man up yeah. to. No, no, no. Now that's what I'm saying. I'm, this is why I can't wait to talk to our guest today because I still don't even only understand what Polly is. Like, I have so many questions. Nobody's here. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead I'm on the curb right now. Yeah, bro, like, okay. Well, look who the wind brought <laughs> This is you right we now? We is your car service for the day. Nah. I hope nah. you think it was no black truck or limo pulling up. That's what I was looking for. Uh-uh, you got to hop in the Bumble. <laughs> the Bumble. You got his little school bus. The Bumble like Bill. Right, Come on. Right, right. Hop the in. The man himself. So how was your flight? <laughs> <laughs> I sat in a chair in the air, you know what I'm saying? You sat in a chair. And when, I mean, when you look at it like that, it's kind of miraculous every time. You know what's crazy? I don't really like flying like that. Really? Hence, I have a whole RV. I love comfort. Yeah, me too. I love I'm I love a tourist, so I, I'm all the way. It, That's okay, what I, do. So I feel that. I feel that. Well, speaking of comfort, how did you get to the point where you were comfortable enough to explore poly life? Let's <laughs> so jump straight into it. Yeah, I mean, so I was introduced to that word by my girlfriend at the time. So Got she it. brought in this concept because I didn't know what that word meant. I was like, what was poly, what? All I knew was polygamous. Mm. And my grandfather from Nigeria has six wives. She was like, eh, there's more options. There's more agreements. Mm. So she brought me to that word and I was like, okay, cool. That sounds like what we want. We started dating by going to little spots in New York. Eventually we found a, a partner that we both thought would, mm. would, would work with us but right. at the end of the day like it all comes down to compatibility that's right. what i learned that the hard way but how interesting is it because earlier me and my friend ej on the way to come get you was literally just talking about how people be surprised how the woman initiates a lot of stuff yeah like i'm not poly but like even just when everybody heard that like me and my husband had threesomes before it was yeah. like oh she's willing to do that to keep a man i'm like nah that, that you, was all me. You, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was all me. Like, yeah. But I hate the idea of people thinking, like, it's always the guy that wants this, that. So she introduced you to the pie life. It's like me yeah. introducing that, you know what I'm saying, to my husband. And it's just like, yo, this is what I want to do. I think it, it works better when the woman introduces you. I mean, it's the way Bumble works, right? And that's why yeah. Bumble's platform is women first. Exactly. That's, that's, that's really the way to do it to me. Right. If you're a heterosexual man and that... But like put some respect on a woman's swag. I feel like yeah. it's always like they're trying to take that away from the woman to feel like, oh, you doing it because that's what he wants. And it's like, nah, that's actually, not what it is. I run this shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's because we think men are the hunters, yo. Mm, right, right. Okay. So how early do you let someone know about your dating philosophy? Off top. Period. I've described myself as polyamorous before. I've used the term ethical non-monogamy. But at the end of the day, what I realized from it is I, I believe in agreements. Right. So you're just creating an agreement. That's what y'all had, right? Mm -hmm. this, this is our agreement. This is how it's going to work. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're not going to do. So off top, it's important to tell that to somebody because uh, if you don't, you end up with somebody who's not compatible with you. Mm -hmm. So you have all this chemistry, but you don't have compatibility. Mm -hmm. And people confuse the two. Compatibility is whether or not this is you want the same things. Right. I used to date monogamous women and tell them later, mm. and uh, a lot of heartbreak that way. Right. Well, yeah. I'm happy that your new way of going about things is avoiding the extra heartbreak. Do you um, do you feel like sometimes some women be okay with it because they really do just like you and it's like fuck it, it 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 sounds easy or it looks easy, so let me give it a try and then later on it, it start turning sour. 
I think, unfortunately, women have been socialized to bend to the will of, of the man is. Right. So I think a lot of women I've been with try to convince themselves that mm. they want it. And they tell themselves in private that this is what I want. Right. But they don't. And if you don't want it and it's not for you, don't do it. Like, it don't mean right. you a square. It don't mean right. like you, oh, oh, like, like poly people ain't, don't get jealous. I've gotten jealous plenty of times. Yeah, that, that, that's my next question. Especially when, yeah, especially when women want to be with another man. And you got to deal with that. Right. So, and, and to me, it don't have to be an L. Like, if you really about it, it don't have to feel like, like I'm less of a man. Right. It can actually feel like you're more of a man because you believe in the power of the woman that you're with. So let me ask you a question. Do you think open relationships are more honest than monogamous relationships? The way I look at it is, I think this is one of the most important things you can do in a relationship. You have to make a safe space for each of your primal desires to say what they want. So whether it's, I want to have a child or... I want to be with somebody else or I want this kind of kink in, in the bedroom. Like you have to make a space for that. And if that if you don't make the space then people hide that. Right. And that's when you run into the trouble. That I think a lot of people run into. Wow. OK. So do you have a primary partner? Oh, yeah, I do now. I do now. I was a couple years. I was just running around. So wait, are you exclusive or are you and your new partner? Polly? We we are exclusive right now. I wanted to start dating people who had, who were polyamorous or had polyamorous experience, and she did. When I met her, she had two boyfriends. I was like, great, I'm excited about that. And she said it off top, like, this is where I'm at. So when we first started dating, she was with them. Those, those relationships eventually evolved, and she evolved out of it. So right now, we're dating together, and it's only us. Wow. And I don't want to be with nobody else. Like, people would look at us and be like, okay, y'all monogamous. Right. Um, maybe. I just, we reserve the right to evolve. In 10, 20 years, if we old and we like, yo, you want to add somebody or, or mess around a little bit, like, then cool. But, like, right now, it's all about foundation. Foundation is brick by brick. So a lot of people start opening up way too early. So do you think a lot of people is more so in love with the idea of it? Like, oh yeah, it does right. sound player, but like, it's not easy. I had two girlfriends, right? And I tell you right now, like, as much pleasure as that sounds, there's the pain is twice. Mm. All of our hearts were broken. You, three broken hearts, yeah, in one relationship. So it, it's not easy. So now, when you, when you were living the poly life, yeah. Was it like first place, second place? Like, was it the primary and then the second and then the third? Like, was it arguing over who was most important? When I, when I first started, I had the basic dream of three sims. But then I realized I really wanted to have a, a romantic relationship with another woman. Mm. Like the, the super heady polyamorous people would say that's, this is called a polyfied triad, which stands for poly polyamorous fidelity and triad which means in layman's terms just means y'all all messing with each other which is different than somebody who's let's say polyandrous that's a woman who has multiple partners but those partners may not be intimate with each other rather you know what i'm saying so like a woman with two boyfriends or two girlfriends but those two girlfriends and boyfriends don't mess around with each other right i mean baby i can't keep up I I know it's a world. But I like what you said also earlier when you said it's about evolving. And that's all I look at it as. And our agreement has license to change. We could change whenever we want. If one of us feels a way or, or both of us feel a way. So she felt like, you know what, babe? I think next year is giving Polly again. Would yeah, I wouldn't be way? ready. Yeah, right now I wouldn't be ready. How would you come to a 50-50 agreement where you guys both feel like you're making a compromise for one another? How would you do that? If either of us said that to the other person right now, we we just break it off. Because I, I know it. I've entered into relationships way yeah. too early. And you you can't build if you have a rocky foundation. or you, mm. And you can't build when y'all want different things. Right, when you're not on the same page. What if she's ready and, and you might be ready, but both of y'all scared to approach one another? So my whole culture, like our whole crew does this, or most of us. 
where you do a monthly ritual with your with your partner. Mm -hmm. it, we do it on the full moon cycle. So we have a bunch of candles around us. You, you know, we might be butt naked and we're sitting and inviting the spirits to guide us. God, whatever you call the, the higher power to guide us in our relationship. So you invoke that. And then you talk about everything that's been going on that, that month. So all your grievances, the things that went well, your desires. And if you do that monthly, you, it, it, it helps to, to prevent resentment and secret desires from growing. Raw <laughs> communication. That's, that is what it is. So you, you exactly, prayer, honestly. because you got no, because you got no clothes on, like people are different without clothes on. Yeah. So you it's can't, you can't, you don't got no extra skin on you. You just, right. this is what I am. So when you talking to somebody about it and the sex is great after, as you can imagine, because y'all have let everything out. Right. Y'all come to a sense of peace about, you know, whatever you talked about. So for me doing that every month, I know where she's at. She knows where I'm at. Mm, that big naked communication once a month on the full moon sound lit the reality is like a lot of people want to talk about things but it's always the wrong time that happens with me and my husband yeah yeah uh, but yes having that lack of communication whether you're busy whatever it's like not taking that time to take out to be able to communicate okay here's yeah, the yeah. rundown of everything to avoid resentment that's why i love the woman i'm with right. like i love how we fight yeah we call them huddles I'm like, yo, baby, you want to, let's huddle up real quick. Right. Like, out of view of anybody, out of view of the cameras, nobody hearing this. Because I don't really like arguing. Yeah, yeah, I see what I did. I see what I did. Let's talk about it when we get home. But yeah, yeah. All, right, all right, cool. But that's big but, too, accountability and also understanding that even with the little huddle, that that huddle don't have to turn into an argument. It don't even have to turn into a negative energy. Yeah. A lot of men don't know how to communicate. We, we, we tend to be silent sufferers. Mm. And because yeah. we think that that's hard. It's like, I love talking about what, how, what I'm thinking, what I feel. Like, I don't even, I actually feel strength in those moments. That's me now. When I started the, the polyamory thing, I was not like this. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I was just like, I did not know how to talk about what I was going through. And I didn't know who to talk to. Especially mm -hmm. in the black brown community. It's not a lot of us. It's growing now. It's crazy because the idea of poly, I always think about it like... So like when the guy wake up, are y'all low key fighting over who he kissed first? That first morning kiss. So it all depends on if y'all are intimate together, uh -huh. right? So if you're intimate, if y'all all intimate, it can be a lot more equal. But usually there's a power dynamic between the first part, like the primary partner, versus the secondary. Oh, so partner. it is a first and the second. It can be if y'all talk like that. I never liked that that term. Because nobody want to be second. But hey, saying the, lady, the, hey, the, the woman that you love right now, that is your exclusive partner. Yeah, if y'all yeah. decide to go poly, clearly she comes first. Always, right? And yeah, the second yeah. shorty is like, oh, hey, girl. Yeah, unless the woman that we brought in loves us both. In which case, we're kind of dating her, if that makes sense. That's what you call a unicorn. You're looking for the unicorn because it's hard to find. And so if they're date, they should be in love with us both. Like you know, a threesome on a on a crazy, yeah, yeah, amazing, yeah, yeah. drunken yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. No, amazing. I for love sure. beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like on a fun night, I'm like, and my husband, he's so traditional. Yeah, I mean, that's great. Now y'all know what y'all want right now. I wanted more than just sex when I started this. Right. Like the birthdays were the worst. Damn. You know, because you you try to split your time, you look the gifts that you get. Mm. I didn't want to be what I became, which was a polygamous man. Mm. It's not fun like that. Yeah. It, but like you said, you you evolve, and I think that that word is just so powerful because like, yeah, you know, like I remember the last time I had a threesome. I remember the last time we really even did it. You know, because yeah. now we have kids, we evolved. We're yeah. adults. Like we're full blown a married couple yeah. with real life kids and real life jobs and it's just like yo now we have to sneak to have sex where yeah. back then it's like yeah we drunk yeah yeah might bring a right little now, you know yeah, what i'm yo, saying her like right there. get her right there let's yeah, yeah, go yeah. now we be knocked babe you trying to do it tonight like we have the schedule <laughs> babe you yep. trying to do it tonight yeah yeah <sighs> yo yep, yep. that's the reality when you talk about evolving he's not who he was when you fell in love with him right and you not who you were yeah. when he fell in love with exactly. you exactly that changes over time and the beauty of it is and i'm sure you relate you get to fall back in love with a new person yeah, yeah. 
It's like the idea of renewing your vows. Right. I'm gonna call Trump. I'm like, yo, we gotta do once a month. Get naked. Let's go. <laughs> Communicate. But we have to get to the Bumble Bowl. We're gonna oh, talk about this some okay, more. Joey's right. gonna join us at Joey. the Bumble Bowl. But I, I think I, I love to hear the perspective from like both of y'all together yeah, because yeah. you are two completely different people and yeah, have two yeah. complete different aspects of how you see it. Yeah, I wanna hear what he's gonna say. So listen here, if you poly or ethnically non-monogamous, it's helpful to be upfront with your Bumble profile so your matches know what's up. Bumble is a safe space to find types of connections that you're looking for. And success means different things to different people. And we love to see it. Okay, so look. Me and Jay had a really, really great conversation that we wanted to wait until you guys got here to spill it on because mm -hmm. okay. everybody have different like perspectives of it and I'm still learning this particular <laughs> sitch. You use Bumble in real life. I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. so how is it being poly in using Bumble? Are you looking for multiple people or is it a group chat? Like. <laughs> 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 So Oops, I've been using Bumble for oof, a few years now, and as a premium user. Oh. Yes, premium user, oh. come on. Oh. You gotta have the filters popping, oh. right? You gotta Hello. get the Diamond specifics. medallion, let's go. Oh. Oh. What's the, what's the difference status. between a premium user and a regular user? You know, I don't even remember what a regular user looked like no more. Oh. But, but I will say premium okay. is, is popping because I get to set my preferences. Right. I get to filter out different folk that I'm looking for and not what I'm not looking for. You serious. I'm yeah. very serious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so okay. I, I encourage anybody who's going to use the app to definitely be it's premium. premium. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So like with the premium, yeah. you could like just enhance the preferences. Yeah, so it's more specific. Exactly. Like, I don't want to date a smoker. Cannabis, cool. Mm. But cigarettes? Yeah, no. But no, I can filter yeah. that out. Yeah, you okay. can even filter by Zodiac sign. Which wow. I did, but I switched it back. That's kind of crazy. I thought it was yeah, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's with it. So like, what's which, which your Zodiac sign of choice? I would say probably like a, another earth sign or a water sign. All right, what signs you stay away from? Fire first, then air. Oh. No, 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 don't tell me the weather's <laughs> Say something, okay, because okay. I'm a Sag. Ah, okay, well, I'm first day Capricorn, so okay, you okay. passed the baton right, to me, okay. I grabbed it, so, you know, we-, we You we, said we, fire, we. I was like, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, no, but I, mean, I try to be open with it though, because honestly, when I meet somebody, I don't even like telling them my sign because there was a time where I would just judge you off top, like, mm -hmm. this is not gonna work. But the older I got, the more I realized, you know, it's about your whole chart. It's your moon sign, it's your, your Venus, how you love, Tyler, your you're Mars, rising. your Tyler. rising, mm -hmm. all of that. So, yeah. which you're not filtering by that with premium, it's just your sun sign. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, wow, that's really okay. interesting. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> What's exactly? Okay, so, so what is it like? At first, I was, you know, had on my profile that I'm ethically non-monogamous, I'm polyamorous. But then what started to happen were I started getting all these inquiries rooted in like the sexual side of it and less like the relationship side. Mm -hmm. And for me, like I'm in it for both. I don't want to just be out here like given the perception that being polyamorous or ethically not monogamous means that, you know, I'm just trying to sleep around, right? Um, I want to be clear at the outset, though. So I keep it in my profile mm -hmm. that I'm actually looking for primary partnership. That's really what I want. But a monogamous mm -hmm. primary mm -hmm. partnership. Ish. Ish. I actually like that Ish. phrase. That phrase yeah. is growing on me. Monogamous? monogamous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is monogamous? That's a first. <laughs> for me, I want to be with a partner that I can build with. I want us to establish a foundation. I want us to be clear yep. that this is about me and you and us. Mm. But it's like lease with the option to buy, right? I want to have the Yo, opportunity. I'm, I'm, let me out. Let me out. Wow. <laughs> you understand? Wow. Like, like I just wow. want to establish it okay. early, just so you know. No, it's okay. Yeah, it's I do, just, I do it's too. Just, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like what I want today. That might like look different down yep, the road. Right. And I, I don't want you to think I'm switching it up on Preach. you. I want us to feel like we're not confined. We're mm -hmm. not in a space. Right. So you, you're not smothered. Yeah. You're not claustrophobic. So what has the experience, the experience been for you? What exactly? Like what do you identify yourself as? What do you identify yourself as? Um, a man who's growing and evolving and learning. Mm -hmm. you know? I saw an interview you did, and I was talking with T about it. Mm -hmm. you, you said you wanted, it was like, Joey Badass says he wants two, <laughs> two wives. wives. <laughs> yeah, that was, um, 
it's how I felt in the moment. Um, I'm, it's not anything that I'm like seeking. It's like an option to buy though. You know what I mean? I just kind of had to put that disclaimer out there mm -hmm. to the world. Like, love it. Just yeah, in case just you know, by the way, you know, I think I'm fully <laughs> capable of by the way. being oh, okay. in a such situation. Okay, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I believe that most of us, we're out here, right? We're dating, and if you're not in like an exclusive partnership with someone, then it's like it's kind of a form of polyamory. It's just not as explicitly put. So it's like we kind of all in these pseudo polyamory mm -hmm. type of relationships, and you know, I think it's just part of growing and being young and things like that. And uh, the more you kind of like, once I realized that, I was like, oh, okay, you know, because I never thought that I would, I could be with a woman and she have other partners. Mm. But then when I thought about it, I was like, you know, I have definitely have loved a woman before who wasn't exclusive to me mm -hmm. and had another partner. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. I like being clear, you know? No, I mean? but that's what we talked about earlier. Like, and I feel like it's not enough safe spaces to be able to just like express your opinions or your thoughts or your views of a certain thing without people thinking that you're necessarily in that or living that. Right. And you know? the and I, nuance about it. Yeah, and I, I really appreciate you all host, you hosting this because I was like, who am I gonna talk to about this? Mm -hmm. right. You know, and I would, there were certain books that I found very helpful. I didn't see people who looked like me, mm -hmm. right? And it almost felt like, is this like white space? Is this, do yeah. black people not do this? And I think the more that I accepted myself, the more mm -hmm. I embraced it, the more I realized, oh, we out here, we right. here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, trust me, when I was, I was the same thing, I was trying to figure out, man, where's my place in this? It's more normal, I'd say. Not all the way, but. It's normalizing. In, in, especially yeah. in major cities like Atlanta and Brooklyn specifically, mm, yeah. LA. So let me ask you a question. This is for everybody, anybody. It doesn't matter who answer. What is the, What do you feel like is the difference between a poly relationship versus an open mm, relationship? Good question. Mm. Excellent question. Because open, like literally, like, like I told you in the past, me and my husband have had threesomes and people say, oh, you have an open relationship. And it's like, we don't. Mm -mm. Like, I think there's something, I won't say triggering about Polly. It's understood off top that we are not gonna be exclusive, but we also are gonna do it with fidelity. There'll be agreements. Right. We're gonna hold this sacred. Terms. Mm. Like, Terms. we're mm -hmm. gonna, exactly. Like, mm -hmm. we're, gonna, we're gonna wear this with pride. The first time I was in a, a relationship that I wanted to open up, I brought it to my partner, a man that I was dating at the time. And I was like, so what you think about this <laughs> right here? Yeah, you know, I, I slid him this book, The Ethical Slut. And I was oh, like, yeah. the the classic ethical slut. Slut. that's the classic. Good Read a couple chapters of that and let me know what you think <laughs> about that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, yeah, I said to him and I said, you know, look, I don't expect you to want to be with me and only me from now until eternity. I can't be everything and, and anything to you. I can be who I am. I'm gonna bring my full self, but there might be things that you're looking for that I'm just, I'm not equipped with, or I'm not into, or whatever. It's interesting because at the time, I'm in love with my partner, but there was someone else, a, a, another, a man that I was like, kind of falling for. And I was confused because I was like, how is that possible? Mm -hmm. How am I able to, like the love that I have right. for my partner is solid, is strong. Right. I actually feel more for him now that I'm falling for somebody else. That'd be how happening. is that possible? Mm -hmm. Mm. I, I didn't know I could give myself permission mm. to actually even ask the question. What would it take for you to be exclusive to one person? Mm. And do you feel that you could be in a situation where you could be exclusive to one person and they had freedom? I look at polyamory, monogamy, and all the things in between as an orientation. Like hmm. you have a sexual orientation, you have gender, oh, yeah, yeah. and I think of I'll dating play. styles as an orientation. Mm, and I think hot. just in my DNA, <laughs> I'm far more fluid when it comes to my sexuality, when it comes to um, yeah, just being more on the poly side of the spectrum than not. There are certain stages in my life where I'm like, hey, I'm good. I got a lot going on. I can't really toggle between multiple relationships right now right mm. right so sometimes it doesn't have to do with the other person it has to do with where I'm at in my life in my evolutionary process mm. I know that dating men and knowing that there was another itch I needed to scratch so I realized <laughs> I, I wanted to date women as well so I said 
let me be very, very honest with myself and be honest with my partner that, hey, if we're going to be together, then I really need you to understand that I also need to be with a woman. Yeah, but it's yeah, weird because yeah, right. I'm, I'm a yeah. flirt. I love uh -huh. when girls love me, though. That's yeah. just crazy. Uh -huh. Well, I had to go on the journey. I had to ask the questions. I had to experiment. And so right. for me, like, you know, I had a partner. He was cool with it. He was with it. So we would go and date together. So to answer your earlier question, Joey, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about exclusivity. I know that there's a time where I'm gonna wanna play again. And so my partner has to understand that and has to be okay with that. Otherwise, mm -hmm. there's no longevity in this and mm -hmm. I don't wanna waste anybody's time. <laughs> it, yeah. Like It has Word you up. like discovering things about yourself that you didn't even wow. know you didn't know. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your your likes, your dislikes, your boundaries, mm -hmm. your kinks, mm -hmm. your absolute yeses, your absolute no's. Mm -hmm. So you feel like it's a part of growth? Because as we speak right now, Jay is in an exclusive relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. even that, but from with the, being yeah, yeah. a poly man to like exclusive. But that's, and that's where I am. Too. Yeah. And I do. But we still have the room for growth. What I like about it is we option into buy. it. Right. I, yeah, that, that, that was the bar of the day. That was like, the yeah, bar yeah, that was That's what it is. Yeah. And we reserve the right to change. That was the bumble bar of the day. That is, that yeah. is. Because that's, that's what organisms, that's what humans do. We, yeah. we change. Yeah. But the issue with, to me, with like the standard monogamy, it's just there's no wiggle room, mm -hmm. and, and it feels like a structure. Yeah, right. now, just, that's, a that's that's very interesting that you said that because like for me, like I feel like when I'm in a relationship, what makes me happy is feeling like I'm still free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The moment that I start to feel confined, okay. like I might not even want to mess with anybody else, right. but just the idea of feeling like. I can't, mm -hmm. or like that's completely off limits. Mm -hmm. Like that confines me. And you cross the phobia. You want to get out. Yeah. You want to get yeah. out of that. Rather than, box. And exactly. love is claustrophobic. Mm. It doesn't want to be confined. Mm. It doesn't want oh, to be yeah. constrained. True, yeah. It love needs love. space. It's like mm -hmm. water. It mm -hmm. can't be still. It Why has not? to move. And if I truly love you, mm. I'm gonna give you that space mm. to expand your love. And if I truly love myself. First. That's the conversation so people don't want to talk about. It. It's yeah. like a lot of people get in it, they don't love themselves. Like come with a hundred. People that love themselves still got liquor in their cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting crazy. That's funny. That Yo, that's funny. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah. And I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you reminded me of? There's a word in polyamorous community called compersion. Mm. So, compersion mm. basically means you find joy in watching your partner find joy in somebody else. Mm. What it what it what it is not, it's not cuckold. Like it ain't that word where it's like, you know, you wanna watch your partner have sex with somebody. Right, right. What it is is that you see somebody finding love with somebody or finding intimacy with somebody and that actually like makes you happy. It, mm. I know it sounds wild because there is there's there's usually jealousy at a certain point. You're gonna experience in that experience that but i I, I didn't know I could get there. With now, a you woman. Say intimacy, do you mean sexually? No, or I'm mentally? saying That's just, just mentally. Is a big I'm saying, word. Yeah. I mean, like, mentally, emotionally, more like they're right. dating somebody else, yeah. and you they come home and they're like, Yo, I had a great date with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you listen, and there's a part, trust me, as trust me, that was difficult mm -hmm. to feel mm -hmm. that. And I was like, Whoo. It's like, it's like, but, how, how, but how much fun do here's you the, have? Here's the wild. Oh, no, <laughs> there's all that. Y'all have, that. have to establish that. He? You have to establish that. Do yeah, you guys yeah. talk about it? Do yeah. you not? Like, right, that's right. part of the agreement. That's part of the agreement. You have to know, because yeah, yeah. sometimes it's, I don't want to hear about it. Other yeah, times, right. I want to hear yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 for sure. Everything, yeah, for sure. everything yeah. you did. For sure. no, that, I, I feel it, you, though, because that's how it is, like, with the, the threesomes that we've had. Like, yeah. Then it turned me on of the view of yes. her down, yes. her up yes. from the backside and him right there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it was like, mm. that was it. Yeah, like, if you wanted to see some get real, yeah. that I was the that pose. You. you know, <laughs> I love this frame. I love this shot. Oh yeah, right there. I'm just right laying there. there. Right there. Legs <laughs> beautiful, right there. Like, beautiful. beautiful guys, dynamite. <laughs> because love is love. You know what I'm saying? You love who you love. Love is love. Exactly. So it's like, how do we promote to the world that love is love without it being any I type think, of judgment. Well, be very clear about what your needs are. Be uh -huh. very clear about what your terms are. Be yeah. very clear about what your boundaries are. And if I know in my partnership that 
at a certain amount of time, I want us to reevaluate. Every month, I want us to cash out, you yeah. know, what's going on with us with the ritual. Yeah. At the end of the year, I want to do a renewal ceremony. At the end of the five-year contract, Ooh. I want to be like, oh, I want to sign on the line, baby. Don't you want to, too? Ooh. Good, great. Right. But And if we five years turns into 50, turns into 75, then great. Then, what then it, okay. then it, was, for, it was for life. But I never want anyone to feel like it's a one size fit all. That something that we were taught yeah, earlier right. because of a religion or right. because society says so or the fairy tale industrial complex says I'm supposed to do <laughs> it this way or that way. No, find what works for you and go all the way. And not throw the judgments at, at what you're not living, like yeah. somebody right. else's life. Because yeah. I see people who are monogamous, who mm. just cast a whole shadow on polyamorous people and vice versa. Yeah. Polyamorous people be like, oh yeah, monogamy, that don't work. <laughs> and that's not true. There's, there's right. people who be married 75 years, amazing yeah. couples, you know, I, like you and your husband, like y'all y'all have given love to the world yeah. by sharing. I think, you know, circumstances play a big part as well. Hey. Beautiful. This, this was dope. Yeah. And thank you for the knowledge. And it's crazy he said about the student, because I told you earlier, like, yeah, I'm such yeah, a yeah. student. Yeah. So yeah. I don't have to be living it to want more insight, to want to know more. To so I it. further know how to even handle people that are not in the same situation and vice versa, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that this is a safe space for everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, everybody this everybody how you feel. Good. Thank this you. Good. you know, but it's thank you guys for coming. I appreciate, appreciate you having us. Premium user on Bumble. Hey. Big B's, big B's. Period. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, Jadena. Thank you, Joey. I appreciate y'all yeah. coming out. Appreciate it. And yeah, this thank is you great. for having Finish me. that cup.